Guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel here today. I hope you guys did going well. In today's video, guys, we're going to be reviewing the brand new Soul AIO update that recently launched. This update has had a lot of traffic, a lot of users going to check it out just because it is, in my opinion, one of the best leaps in terms of updates in terms of the previous version to the current version. And personally, I will be using Soul AIO a lot more, but let's get straight into it. No cuts. As you can tell, that is the desktop application. Nothing has changed with that. We go ahead and open up the lot. Boom. As you guys can clearly see, if you guys have had Solio in the past and have previous versions, I think the last version was version 3.3 something. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. However, this already looks amazing. As you guys can see, it says Welcome Back Custom. This can be configured within the Discord. If you guys go ahead and DM Solbot and you do change and just got username, space, whatever you want to do it to, it will change it within the interface. It does take a couple of minutes, so please don't be alarmed if it doesn't happen straight away. Then it actually tells you what your key is. Now, when you first launch up the bot, it should actually just ask for your key. You activate, you go in. And as you guys can see, I have the lifetime version of Soul AIO. Now, if we navigate through the settings page, we have the capture services that are actually inside so and uh, we currently have two captain anti-capture these are websites that actually provide captures that are already solved for you so if your tasks require captures using these keys once ticked by the way you need to make sure you tick them once keys are in it will actually ask for captures and it will solve it for your tasks for delays these are stuff for like monitoring delays or like your actual tasks in the global settings you can actually configure your tasks to different delays if you do wish however the global delays are a thousand a thousand these are default i haven't really touched around with these however in the soil discord they do actually tell you the delays that they suggest running for certain scenarios so you can always come back and change that there for quick tasks this is for if you're in a cook group or any type of monitors usually the monitors will have like loads of different bots and essentially you can set up so i also let's say you're just chilling you have discord on your second monitor you have this open on the dashboard below you can actually click soil aio for a certain item that comes up in the Shop shopify feed or the monitor feed and it'll go ahead and execute whatever profile you want once you type in the the email and so on and so forth and whether you want to use a proxy and the email and password now if we move on to miscellaneous this is essentially just putting your adidas email and password in and this is for your webhook and this basically configures what type of name you want the bot to actually enter when you do test notifications and when you check out if you look at my success discord as you guys can see it is named so there I and it shows you what you can't actually tested the adidas part of a uh, soul yesterday once i did the new update i actually did some uh, so sock sorry now, as you guys can see it does show you the generate account the password and the cart so if you guys want to send this to like a group of friends where they can go check out then there you go you can do that now quickly before we go on to billing proxies and tasks i want to go over a couple of things that i currently left here if you want to click help this just tells you to open ticket in the soul uh, discord and from experience they are pretty pretty quick on um answering your ticket so you guys can go ahead and do that if you want to deactivate the key because you're selling it you're transferring device into a server go ahead and deactivate one thing i'll actually suggest this is on my current desktop but however if you guys are on a server what you guys want to be able to do is always remember to deactivate when you're switching back to your actual desktop just because your key can't be uh activated on two ips now if we go over to new harvester let it load up a second i really like this part of soul once it loads up there we go boom as you guys can see we have a live animation of the soul AIO uh, logo going up and down and essentially you can log onto YouTube and YouTube will load up and you can actually do harvesting basically when uh, your tasks ask for a capture you can harvest it here however as you guys can see I'm logged into our account I actually just play black screens on the lowest quality so it doesn't take up much of my network so whilst that's playing I click harvest it over here and just let all the captures come in when i'm on a test for a drop on the billing section as you guys can see it has been completely like revamped and personally i actually think it's really cool just because of the fact that you can obviously it's a lot more compact obviously you got your first name all your details this is like a test type of profile actually i'll generate a new profile here as you guys can see first name last name address one address two city zip united kingdom obviously if you guys live in the united states it asks you for your state as well but i live in the united kingdom so i'm going to switch that back email phone billing if you want to add billing to separate to shipping then obviously you can't do that however if you just want it the same then just click that x and uh, it will do exact same then obviously your details down there you can name the profile as you guys can see i have a couple of profiles that's my test profile that's one card there's another card then the coolest part of this 
personally for me is basically when you're doing your card details that's your card number that's expiry date and that's your card holder name and that's your cvv so i actually kind of like it and i actually kind of like it said where it says issued by the bank of sole this is a cool little feature that's been added and i actually really like it now when it comes to proxies once again nothing has much changed it just looks a lot better in my opinion obviously you can uh when you're adding proxies you can add it for certain tasks so let's say you want to add tax uh, proxies for supreme you add it for their uk or shopify that's how it goes and obviously when you add proxies you add them in in the format there it tells you the format it wants it in you can test all you can clear band so let's say you test them and some of them are banned you can click clear band or you can clear all of them if let's say your proxies were meant to last for a couple of days for a release and now they no longer work now moving on to tasks which is the final section of soul and it's actually one part of the actual new tasks part of soul that i really really like that i'm going to get into if you guys have previously used soul you guys will know what i'm talking about now let's go over mass edit mass edit is essentially when you've got loads of tasks and uh you essentially change it for which site so let's say all sites are adidas uk you can change the pid the password or the retry the, well the, the delays so to speak and you can do that for all sites as well but the reason why it's great off of is because there's no actual delays so all sites can go ahead and change it and one thing i like is when you actually click the button the motion blur of the actual application comes up which is really really smooth in my opinion so obviously you're going to click out of that then when you come to add tasks this is just clean when i saw this on their twitter i got pretty excited so we can navigate through the three different types that are currently inside so we have adidas we have shopify and you have off-white let's go through each one for adidas you choose that your region so adidas uk us canada stuff like that the type of modes non plus splash proxy profile obviously for profile this is actually grayed out i got slightly confused at first however automatic uh, carting isn't actually a thing inside soul it will attempt to do it and then essentially it will just generate information for you guys to log in and once you go ahead and do that you click a button on the uh, car and it, it will literally just send you to the car with generate information you do the payment information and you check out or it gets sent to your discord and you can do it there so wherever you want to do it there that's how you do it also whilst we're talking about discord quickly if you guys actually do want to get your webhook you can literally go to the edit channel and webhooks and then you set up everything in here i will actually leave a link down below if you guys are going to set up a web hook because it is pretty useful and i kind of like to keep track of all my success in my desk discord so if i need to recall back to like a date or something it's all there for me so essentially then we've got pid which is product id literally that's just something in the url that will all be supplied by sol aio then you have sizing it goes for all, all through shoes essentially then you have normal clothing sizing then you have random so let's say you're running for a shoe that you know we have really really good resale and you just want to go for any size hit random there you go then you have the timer the timer you can set the day and the time and this actually works off your computer time so literally if i as you guys as you guys can see we actually did open up this task at 407 in terms of the minutes so it's 409 so if i would put 410 it would run on that and it's running on my computer time now at the bottom it says add task and i can choose how many tasks i'm going to add you add them in multiple of five so obviously you can record back and keep adding the tasks now moving on to shopify as you guys can see you have a plethora of sites to scroll through you guys can go ahead and go for any of these that you want price cap you can actually implement this just in case it does pick up a different product and you got you like check out something really expensive i did have one occasion where i checked out a pair of trousers by accident this is when i first started uh buying so obviously that wasn't very nice so you can do price caps if you guys wish then you have proxies i recommend running proxy for certain shopify drops then you have your profile obviously you can go with it wherever you want your login email your login password your keywords and also the login email and password is in association to the site probably so obviously make sure that those uh, details are correct and keywords and url now i know for a fact that so do actually drop their keywords and suggested keywords to run but I'd highly suggest if you guys do join a cook group just because of the fact that their keywords will be accurate as well however so IO's main current job is to provide features for the bot so let's say they're not accurate you can't really blame them just because their purpose is 
for developing the bot, which I'm not gonna lie, this bot, the development going into it, props to the Soul AI, AI or team, just because of the fact that this bot looks amazing. And for now, I'm just gonna say Soul because I cannot be bothered saying AI or every time I wanna say it. So once again, sizing is right there. We have French sizing there as well. Login password, timer if you wanna add it. And finally, we have the off-white part of Soul AI. Okay, do you know what? Soul, that's what I'm saying from now on, Soul. All right, then for sites, we have the UK, US, color, URL, sizing. Obviously, I'd uh, recommend just going random or one size just because of the fact that if it's a restock, if you're running for restocks, then you don't want to put a certain size because you, do, you don't know if that's going to restock. Then you have your color, proxy, profile, timer, add the amount of tasks, and boom. Now, you guys might be thinking, listen, all right, where is Suprema? According to one of the developers inside Solaya Discord, they're currently doing a recon of the browser part, if I'm correct in speaking, therefore it is currently not added. However, at the beginning of week one of SS19, you will have Sol, Sol will actually have their supreme part back inside. Now, one thing that I was going to mention to you guys is that with the brand new Sol update, it's no longer segregated. So let's say I'm running for a, a Yeezy drop, right? And I want to run... Uh, some Yeezys, but then at the same time, there's a Shopify drop at the same time for the same for the same pair of Yeezys. I can set up my uh, Shopify tasks and I can shop, uh, set up my Adidas tasks and it all collates into one little dashboard right here. However, previously in Seoul, what used to happen is you'd have all these sections here saying Adidas, uh, Shopify and stuff like that, which personally I didn't like. However, I like this a lot more that it's all here so I can see what's happening at all times. Then to go over, you guys have the start all, stop all and clear. And once that, literally that is the entirety of the brand new Soul update. Now, what I want you guys to do is go to down below and check out Soul if you guys are looking to buy a bot because this bot for AIO purposes currently is very, very good. And it's currently the bot I'm going to be using until I further update or go for a better bot. Oh, however, I, th I do really think that Soul is going to stay my rotation for bots because it has actually maintained itself. It's maintained its value. The value of it's increasingly going up in like markets. So I'm going to keep this in my circulation for a long time until I decide to sell it. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, please drop a like. If you guys want to go check out Soul on Twitter, link is down below. By all means, tweet at them saying that uh, the update was really good. I personally DM them saying that because I really did like this update. But I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace out.